What's up guys what's going on over there welcome to my channel game tech tutorials and today i'm here again with a very interesting video on android tips and tricks so guys today in this video i'm going to show you and also tell you that how we can install kali net thunder for free on any android device very easily now you might be thinking that what is kali net thunder right so if you want to understand kali net thunder you have to first understand that what is kali linux now you might be knowing that what is kali linux but if you don't know i will tell you so Kali Linux is a Linux distribution which is fully based on Debian and it is only developed for hacking purpose. In other words you can say it is a hacking operating system. All the softwares and tools which you will find in this Kali Linux is only developed for hacking. If you want to become a professional hacker then you should know how to use Kali Linux because it is the hacker's paradise ok. So now let's see what is Kali Nethunter. So there is not much difference between Kali Linux and Kali NetHunter, actually both are same in terms of features, but the difference is their interface. I mean Kali Linux is having a desktop type interface just like Windows, but Kali NetHunter is having a app type interface just like any normal app like MyFiles or any other app, ok? Now guys you might be thinking that which is best, Kali Linux or Kali NetHunter? So in my opinion Kali NetHunter is best because Kali NetHunter is very easy to install, anyone can use it and it's very user friendly. You can easily understand Kali NetHunter, but if you want to install Kali Linux, then it may be very difficult for you because Kali NetHunter is very hard to install, in some phones it doesn't install or you can't even use it very freely or I should say can't understand it very easily, ok? The conclusion is that Kali NetHunter is the best option if you want to do the hacking from your Android device. So now let's see how we can install Kali NetHunter on Android device very easily because it is also not a very simple task. So there are some things which are required. So first of all your phone must be rooted. If your smartphone is not rooted then you can't install Kali NetHunter on your Android device. Second thing is that at least 4.4 gigs of free space is required in your internal storage. Not in your external storage, ok? Because you have to download files and extract the files from internal storage only. So that's why minimum 4.4 gigs of storage is required. And third thing which is required here is that you have to download some applications. I have given the links in the descriptions. As you can see there are 4 links and each link contains one app, ok? So just download those apps and after downloading those apps, install those apps one by one. So guys before I proceed further, I will show you those apps. As you can see these are the 4 apps inside NetHunter folder. One is the NetHunter app, one is the BusyBox Pro app, one is the NetHunter terminal app and one is the NetHunter VNC app, ok? So guys some of these apps are also available on Play Store, you can also download from there, it's upon you. But I recommend you to download from those links. So now let's see how we can install Kali NetHunter on Android devices. First of all I'll show you my internal storage so that you can also manage your internal storage according to that. You can see here right now I'm having 4.12 gigs of free space. Now let's see how we can install Kali NetHunter. First of all open your BusyBox Pro app. Wait here it will take time to load. Ok now as you can see app has been opened. So when you will open this app for the first time it will ask root permissions. So just grant it. Now just cancel it. So guys now what you have to do just tap on this subin option and change it to system xbin which is this first option. Now just tap on this install option and wait for a few seconds. Now just tap on cancel and minimize this app, don't close it, ok? So now what you have to do just open this NetHunter app and when you will open this app for the first time it will ask root permissions. So just run this app root permissions and wait for a few seconds. You can see here guys some codes are running. So wait here it will take a bit of time to load. Ok now as you can see here the app has opened. So this is the interface of this app, it is a very beautiful app. So now just tap on these three lines and guys as you can see here these are all the options which are hidden right now because we haven't downloaded any package right. So now let's see how we can download a package which contains all the hacking softwares or I should say all the hacking tools and that package is about 850 megabytes in size. 
So now let's see how we can download that package. First of all, enable your data connection, either Wi-Fi or mobile data, whatever you want. And now just tap on these three lines. Go to the Kali Foot Manager section and wait here now you can see all the options has appeared now just tap on this install kali crude and wait for a few seconds so guys as you can see here a message has appeared and it is asking me to download the image file so i have already downloaded the image file but i will show you the process ok so now just tap on this download latest image and wait for a few seconds you can see a new message has appeared so there are two options guys either you download a full crude or minimal crude so minimal crude is about 150 megabytes and full crude is about 850 megabytes. So guys the minimal crude doesn't contains all the features. It only contains some features which is only for beginners. But full crude contains all the features. It is just like one time investment. Just download a 850 megabytes image file and enjoy all the features. So first of all I'll open my data connection and now I'll just tap on this option download full crude because we want all the features right. So wait here because it will take a bit of time to load. And now as you can see here guys our download has started right. So I'll just cancel this download because I have already downloaded the image file. So I'll just close my data connection and my NetHunter app. So now I'll open my file manager app and I'll show you that package which I have downloaded from that NetHunter app. It is about 850 megabytes in size and it is in the form of tar.xz which means that you can't extract this file. So I have downloaded the full crude not the minimal crude. So wait here you can see this is the tar file. So now I'll just copy it to my internal storage and paste it over there. So wait here guys because it will take a bit of time to copy and as you can see here our copy process has begun. So wait till this copy process finishes. So guys I hope till now you have understood what I was trying to say. This is the simplest process of installing Kali NetHunter on Android devices. The process is not completed yet but I'm just giving you the brief description ok. And guys one more thing I want to say that you can't find this tar file on the internet because the apps downloads the tar file for your device only according to your device specification. So that's why this NetHunter app is very important if you want to install Kali NetHunter on your Android device because the app downloads the perfect image file for your Android device. You can see here guys my file has been copied successfully in my internal storage. Wait here I'll just show you the file. As you can see this is the tar file. So now I'll just close my file manager app and all the stuffs which are running in the background. Now I'll just open my NetHunter app again. So this is the main part ok watch it very carefully. First of all I'll just go to my Kali Crude manager. I'll just tap on this option install Kali Crude. Now I'll just tap on use SD card because SD card is internal storage where I have placed a downloaded image file ok. So now I'll just tap on this install full crude because we have downloaded the full crude file. You can see here kalifs.full.tar.exe. So let's get back. Now I'll just tap on this install full crude. So wait here guys because it will take minimum 15 to 20 minutes to extract the files. So in this case just sit back relax and just wait till the extraction completes. As you can see here guys our extraction has finished. So now I'll just show you my internal storage so that you can see how much free space you will get after full installation of Kali NetHunter on Android devices. You can see here I am having only 450 megabytes of free space in my internal storage right now. So now let's get back to our NetHunter app. So as you can see here guys the app is showing me some errors right. So actually these are not the errors. These are some bugs of this app which you can ignore ok. So now I'll just close my all applications which were running in the background. Now I'll just open my NetHunter app again. So wait here. So now I'll just tap on this three lines and go to the Kali Cruit manager. As you can see here guys our Kali Cruit has installed successfully and all the options has also appeared. These are the hacking tools. So guys if your hacking tools are not appearing or your options are not appearing then just restart your device. Sometimes the apps may not work because of the bugs but it will work ok. So now I'll just open the NetHunter terminal app. Actually it is a command line interface from where we will enter the command codes. So first of all it will ask you to grant root permissions just grant it. So as you can see here this is the interface of this app. So now I'll just open my NetHunter app again. Wait here. So there is an option for custom commands. I'll just tap on this option. Let's see if the terminal opens or not. Ok I think so something is not right with this app. Let's open the app again. Go to the Kali Crude Manager. So the options are here again. Let's open the custom commands. So guys I think so the app is not working properly because I am having a very low space in my internal storage right now. 
So one thing I want to say guys which I forgot to mention, just delete that tar file which was about 850 megabytes in size because it will only take space in the internal storage which is not a good thing right? So just delete it. But don't forget to take the backup of this file before deleting because in future if you need this file then you can revert it right? So just take the backup of this file then delete this file. So guys now let's see how much space is available in my device right now and wait here I'll just open my storage and now as you can see here I'm having 1.25 gigs of free space in my device it is a very good thing right so guys last thing I want to say that just download Kali Net Hunter on your Android device and I'm sure you'll love it because it is a very interesting tool for hackers so guys this was the easiest process that how we can install Kali Net Hunter on any Android device I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you love this video then please like this video and also subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot and also thanks for watching this video. I hope there should not be any problem but if you are having any problem then please let me know in the comment sections down below. I'll do my best to help you out with your problem and just don't forget to share this video with your friends on social media. So guys now just take care bye bye have a nice day and bye guys bye bye.